Hey, what is up you guys? Joshua Boaz here, bringing you a new video today. If you guys are new to my channel, I make personal finance and lifestyle videos. So if you're into that, please leave a like and a subscribe down below if you guys are not already subscribed. I make new videos here every week. So if you guys are wanting some new content, please stick around. Um, I've been looking around YouTube and I haven't really seen anybody posting content about community college, uh, specifically in the software development computer science sense. So I just wanted to go over my degree. So I just finished up my two year associate degree of applied science. So associates of applied science in software development specifically. And I thought I'd go over the classes that I took as well as just um, a little bit of a description on what you guys can expect from a community college if you were to go into either computer science or software development. If you guys are curious about what a typical day in the life of a community college student is, I've made a video about that on my channel already. I'll throw it up either here or wherever the title bar is. And if it doesn't show up, I'll have it in, linked in the description. Um, so that after you guys are done watching this video, um, uh, feel free to check that video out. So let's hop into this. Starting off for uh, fall semester 2017, so I just uh, graduated high school 2017 and I finished or went right into college uh, 2017. So here's fall semester. Um, for the first semester courses, it was basically just introductory level classes. Basically kind of everybody had to take those no matter what sort of computer science course you took. Um, and it basically went over like how to use Windows, how to use Excel and the whole Microsoft 365 suite. That kind of stuff. So the first programming class I ever took would be Programming Logic and Design, um, ITech uh, 1150. Um, and in that class, we kind of just learned, uh, use Python as a language, and we just learned how to use object-oriented programming and how to do the couple main different things as such as like a for loop, a while loop, just a real introductory level course. For the next course is ITech 1250. Um, Microsoft Windows operating systems and that's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It just taught us how to use Windows 10 pretty much and yeah that pretty much wraps that up. Uh, preparing for IT is an introductory level class and that related to like any seminar class really. It was basically just setting up your LinkedIn and getting your first cover letter and resume going and that kind of stuff just in the IT realm pretty much as well as they talked about like um, get, how to get help on campus or um, how to keep track of your money, that kind of stuff as a college student. So it's really just like any seminar class, everybody had to take that one. Uh, information technology skills. So IT skills was pretty much just, and it used the whole Office 365 suite pretty much. And for the last one, it was information technology concepts. Concepts was the more theoretical class. It was more like how a computer works, like what does a motherboard do, what does a circuit do, and that kind of stuff really. So I mean, that was pretty cool to learn how to, how a computer works. And that wraps up my first semester. Um, overall, not too bad. And for spring semester 2018, I took a lot of generals this year because we did need to fill some general credits as well as the courses that I took that relates to computer science kind of would be SQL, the SQL Server Design, as well as Systems Analysis and Design. So for Systems Analysis and Design, it was more just like um, related to kind of software engineering. It's basically just thinking of what the client wants and what you want your program to do and how to implement that in the software sense. And SQL Server Design, uh, that really helped with just like database design sort of stuff. I'll throw screenshots and stuff over here for a couple labs and different things that we did. We went over how to use a database, how to create one, how to make tables, drop them, foreign keys, primary keys, auto incrementing and that kind of stuff in that class. So uh, it was definitely needed for later on when we'd be implementing our own databases into programs using SQLite, but I'll get onto that later. And we had our typical English composition um, information Literacy and Research, Intro to Communication Studies. Uh, so these, I took pretty much all of my English in generals this semester, and we did like speeches and essays and research papers and that kind of stuff. And then during the summer, for our summer 18, I just took Data Communications, and that was basically a networking class. Just went over a bunch of different hypotheticals and how to set up 
your firewall and you know just basic stuff like that overall definitely helpful and for fall 2018 uh, next semester um i did human biology and human biology lab as well as research and composition for change as well as environmental communications and uh, these are more just generals that i had to take and for spring 2019 I took a microcomputer system maintenance and in that course we basically went over more theoretical slash engineering aspect of computers um so we worked with like motherboards and how to build a computer how it works some more um data security and cyber security stuff in that course i really enjoyed that one for c sharp i took a c sharp.net programming and in that course we really went over object-oriented programming how to just create an application and through various labs as well as database implementation and just on the crud sort of stuff so create read update delete um how to do that in your application i'll throw up my midterm and my final project as well um for my final project i kind of just did like a to-do planner almost to where it's connected with the google calendar api and was able to throw up your to-do list in your calendar so you get it um wasn't the best overall but you know for kind of my biggest project at that period i think it went pretty well and then for info career tech prep um it was basically just a career it career prep um basically getting our linkedin's looking good getting our cover letters good building some networking um in that sort of sense and for my final semester, um, fall semester 2019, I, this was a two-year program, but I did take a little bit longer because I took smaller courses or smaller course loads during the semester. Um, and that kind of helped me with just staying on track and getting good or you know, getting better grades instead of kind of piling on 16 or 18 credits. So um, in that sense, it took me one semester more to graduate, but you know, in the long term, I think I learned a lot more doing it that way. For fall semester 2019, I took Java and then software development capstone. So for Java, it was more object-oriented design pretty much. So just doing labs and working in the Java framework. For this, we used IntelliJ for the IDE and we worked with database and creating GUIs and we did that with C Sharp as well. And for my final project for um, Java, I did a workout planner and I kind of used the same Google API just because I kind of I was aware with it. And I'll throw up screenshots and stuff with that working as well. Um, again, using the SQLite database and just keeping it object oriented using parameterized statements and queries and that sort of stuff for database i was just pretty much building a whole application for software development capstone we used python for a main language and we focused on um, object oriented again we had a heavy focus on unit tests and test cases writing tests for applications as well as creating web applications using django um, so we did a lot of labs, a lot of course, or not so much reading at all. Mostly it was just like go over the slideshow and then you were working with either a group or yourself and building these applications and just getting a better knowledge working hands-on, uh, which I think community college is really good. At least so if you're more of a hands-on learner and you don't like reading too much or that kind of stuff, I'd recommend doing that sense. I'll throw up my final project and just other projects that we've worked with. And we also were working with hosting. So we used a Google Cloud platform for our hosting and getting that our web applications hosted pretty much. So it was a good experience overall, building a whole web application pretty much from scratch or uh, using Django. So it was kind of half done for you, but yeah. And test cases are really useful as well. Um, I've never done any of that until that course, so I'm sure that'll help me in the long run. But yeah, so that pretty much wraps up my entire two-year Associates of Applied Science and Software Development degree. Um, if you guys have any questions about this or anything in general, leave a comment down below and I'll reply to that or I'll make a new video as needed. Um, I think I do want to do a part two of this, just answering questions if anybody has. Yeah, that was my entire two-year degree. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, and again, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. If you want to see more about me talking about community college and whether if it's right for you, leave a comment down below. I'll be sure to answer all of those questions. 
as well as if you wanted to see a full day in the life, I did two days pretty much all into one video. Again, the link will be down in the description or somewhere up there and you guys could see that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And yeah, that wraps it up. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys later.